All right, we're going to change out the uh, heat pack on this air handler. Anybody got a knife? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Some big wires on there too. And there's our harness. So all we're going to do is uh, the, this guy right here. This gets this this attached, and then it's going to go right here on the sign. Mm -hmm. But first, we're going to take this guy out, pull him on out. This guy gets inserted in, and then we'll switch this back over to this side in front of it. Mm -hmm kind of thing but this is how it's all packaged together kind of thing so uh, we're going from uh, 5kw to 10kw so this when you look in there you saw a little bit of orange so it's going to have to be brighter a little, yeah a little brighter right now so I'll put this in here pretty good all right we're going to need a 5 sixteenths take it off here and here first things first turn off all the power turn off all the power which one is it? Nope. Uh -huh. So we can we can put the uh, 60 amp on here because we got a 60 amp one feeding it over there. So I take off this, uh, this six. Two more to go. Now, when you take your uh, screws and everything out, you want to make sure you put it in places that not appear where it's going to roll down into things and fall over. And then you got to remember where you put everything. So, we're going to just stick it right here on this button. Okay. On the side. Good. All right. Switch places. Come on up here. All right. Um, what we're going to do here, here's your wiring hire. You want to unplug that. Okay. Good. And now we got to remove this brick here. He's just fastened on the side. Guys, all bundled up like it's like cold in there or something. <laughs> there. Okay. So you move away. Okay, it's loose now. Uh, sometimes I'll have screws here mm -hmm. on the bottom, but that's for much fun. I'll bring it on in here. So what we're going to do here is, this, with this guy out of the way, we're able to get to these four screws here that's holding that in. Okay, so come on in here. You step back behind him, kind of go over his shoulder kind of thing. Okay, so. so. This one, this one, that one, and that one. This one? Which one else is it? That one and that one, you say? Yep. Think it. Now pull them on out.
unhook our ground. Quarter? It's okay, just wire nut. We'll double check everything before we turn it on. Okay, there it goes. Alright, now. Alright, come on. Oh, your turn. Come yeah. on back okay. up here. Just want to disconnect the. Your line. So okay. that, 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 that's the, this is the power feeding the unit, okay? okay. Coming from the panel. Okay. Can you see the difference between the two? Yeah. This is, this is, about, this is about double what this one was. Yeah. Okay. This guy was running all the time. So, uh, basically, um, uh, who took it out? You took it out? Okay. So, uh, you're going to insert it in there, and then the four screws are going to go back into there again. Over here. Okay, great. So, top one up here. Yep. Okay. Basically, not a whole lot to it. Unplug the harness, disconnect the power on it, remove the heat pack, put the heat pack back in, plug the harness back in, and hook the power back up to it. I mean, 15 minutes. No troubleshooting and figuring things out and what's going on. You see that it takes a little bit, but actually, you know, doing the doing the work on it. That's why I drilled a hole here in the side of the uh, plenum here so we can actually look down there and see the thing turn on. That's one. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't. It's sheet metal. I don't. I don't use a drill 
or screw gun. How does it strip? It'll, you know, you put it in, it'll strip it out. Um, uh, plus, it's get your drill back in there, and, unless you have a long extension on it, you know. Or real yeah. tiny. Yeah. So, uh, I, I'm, I just rather just reach back there with my nut dryer and get everything all undone. So, when I feel like I feel it snug in there, so it's good and tight. I like my little uh, bag. I don't carry the big old bag, little book bag and all that stuff. I know exactly what we need to work on. I just throw it in a little, little tool bucket and walk right on over here. Hey, switch out. Let me adjust set them somewhere. <clears throat> Okay, what you want to do here is you want these, these over here off to the side so that you can get in here. Right side up. Okay, you want to line up the holes here. See these right here? Put these on the mm -hmm. side. These two. Not magnetic. Yeah. Best thing to do. Where's the screw? At? I do got the my my longer ones got magnetic ends on, mm. but where's the fun in that? Right here. Remember oh. this. Mm -hmm. get, some, uh, get some gloves with the uh, finger things. With the these three fingers. You want to find better? Yeah. yeah. I, no, I got gloves that I, I called them pogo gloves. Uh -huh. you, got, things, you, like, you, you, you got gloves with the uh, Ninja claws on them. Yeah, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hidden blade that comes out of the wrist. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then the ones you just uh, took out, they go here on the bottom. Okay. This guy. It's 240 volt, it don't matter. We put one on one side and one on the other. Uh, loosen those up, those two lugs. Don't be, uh, when we go over, like, don't be, that's a white and that's black. These are too hot, so that you know, should have been like black and red. But since they ran over the Romex over to it, 
uh, uh, it's going to be white. Okay, so but those are two hots. So. <laughs> What's that? That ring. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything's good and tight on there. Uh, remember that green screw. Mm 